Bon Scooch with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the deadly leader of the evil Foot Clan. The one and the only Shredder from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series on Nickelodeon. Absolutely wicked looking. Love that guy. Very evil. Uh, I, I, you, you can't really see it on camera. I'll show it off later on. But... He doesn't have, like, eyes. They're just all white. So cool. You got the Ninja Turtle characters here on the side. Includes battle armor, which is kind of interesting. Flip it around here on the back. You see all the other characters that are out there. And that is just a wicked-looking uh, drawing or artwork right there. Cold, cunning, and cruel. Shredder is the turtle's hateful arch enemy, willing to go to any length to destroy them and their rat sensei, Splinter. With the Foot Clan and his shredding armor, there is little the Shredder can't do. Turtles, beware. His weapons include the forbidden ninja techniques and razor sharp armor. Okay. And he's part of the Foot Clan, not as his team. Very interesting. Very kind of cool. Very nice. Uh, now, you see it's from Playmate Toys, so if you are interested, check out PlaymatesToys.com and, of course, Nick.com slash TMNT for more information on the series coming out later this year. But very cool, very awesome. It's the Shredder. Let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the Shredder open up and out of its packaging. And really, the look and the design of this guy, I really, really dig. Uh, it's wicked evil looking i mean this is really kind of combining uh, the evil look that we got in the comic book with kind of the the evil look that we got with a uh, utram shredder from the 2003 series this definitely doesn't have that really kind of campy goofy sort of uh, shredder that we got in the 80s cartoon this guy's design really does come across as wicked evil now I love the way that this guy looks, but there is one nagging problem that I have. Uh, getting rid of his uh, his weapons, let's first focus on his articulation, which is good and bad. Number one, his head rotates left and right, so um, that's really kind of cool. It doesn't look up and down or anything, but that's fine. Uh, the arms are on pin and socket, so they move in and out up and down uh, they can't really rotate all the way around because of these but as you can see these are actually flexible um, they they just kind of angle up so you can go all the way up and this kind of moves along with it then you have to bring it down so it's like that's okay I, I don't mind that the uh, the arms here at the elbow they rotate they're on pin and sockets as well and they bend back and forth and like I said rotate he also rotates at the wrist which is really kind of cool waist he rotates Hips pin and socket so they get a kind of full range of motion forward and back and in and out. But that's it. There's nothing at the knee. And that really kind of sucks. I mean, you can kind of get him in some cool poses. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. And he's balanced fairly well. He doesn't really need to have knees, although it would be nice if he did. And then he is kind of stuck in this kind of sort of walking pose. Not too much, um, but you can see where his heel comes up just a little bit. Honestly, it's it's really not all that bad. Uh, the, the fact that they keep the legs straight really does kind of help things. But I really wish that they put knees in there, and, and I can't imagine why they couldn't, uh, other than a possible cost-cutting measure. But really, I do like this guy, and like I said, he's wicked. His eyes are completely blank. I mean, zooming in... That is just evil and so very cool. It almost kind of looks like he does have pupils. Uh, almost like they're faded or something like that. Like his eyes are glossed over. I, I, I don't know. Really kind of cool. And I love the helmet on him. He has a very kind of classic looking helmet. He really almost looks like the Super Shredder from the uh, Secret of Ooze movie. Ninja, the Ninja Turtles 2 movie, that's kind of the look that he kind of has going for him, but that's awesome. I really do like this figure. Now, his gauntlets are really kind of big. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, they're, they're a lot bulkier than what we've gotten before, but 
it, it kind of works, and like I said, it really does kind of give him a super shredder look to him. Now, he does come with other accessories. He comes with a sword, which is fairly simple, nothing spectacular. I do kind of wish that the handle was painted something a little bit different, and he comes with a, a throwing star, so it's nice that they added accessories with him, but really, why do you need any accessories when he has all this kind of armament? And I... I really do dig the look of this guy, it, it, and I think a lot of it has to do with this helmet and mask. I think it's just absolutely wicked cool looking. Now, for a size comparison, here he is, just kind of hanging out. Here he is next to all the turtles, and you can see that there is a big size difference. Definitely going along with, you know, the adults and the humans are bigger and that the turtles are very young and very kind of adolescent and going to be smaller in comparison to adults. I think that this is just an awesome looking picture. And here you see him next to his arch nemesis, the one and only Hamato Yoshi. Now one thing that's very interesting is, like I read earlier with his uh, bio, it doesn't say that he's actually Oroku Saki. So I'm really kind of uh, un unsure of where Shredder comes from. Maybe he's going to be like the 2003 series where uh, the Krangs will take over him and actually become him or something, much like the 2003 series. Or if we'll have something completely different, only time will tell. And then for a final size comparison, here you see him next to, um, well, the only two other Shredders that I have. This being the 2003 version of Shredder, and this being my kind of classic one, which, again, is a mutating one that goes from, well, not, not even really mutating. It just goes from Oroku Saki to Shredder, which just basically you add armor to him. But as you can see, the sizes of these things uh, really do kind of vary, whereas uh, the classic one is the shortest. The 2003 one definitely gets a little bit taller, and then obviously the new version is the biggest. Now the bottom line, guys, is that this is the Shredder. Now, depending on what kind of role he has in the new series, uh, he could be really kind of cool, or he could be kind of wimpy. Who knows? But it's going to be a fun journey discovering what they're going to do with all these turtles. It's something that I'm really very much looking forward to. Now, the figure itself, I, without a doubt, I recommend picking him up. But you have to understand that it's based on just how really kind of cool he looks. Uh, I am disappointed about the lack of knees. But because they keep his legs straight, it isn't all that bad. And like you saw earlier... I mean, you can get a pretty good range of motion with this guy, and that's a really kind of cool kick, and that's something that Shredder should be able to do. And I like that he can actually do that. Now, it's limited because he doesn't have knees, but you can still get some decent poses with this guy. The rest of his body is really nicely articulated, and because it's Shredder, without a doubt, it is something that is well worth picking up. But that's about it, guys. So I want to thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at the one and only Shredder. And until next time, this has been Optibotomous. I'll talk to you later.